Hey guys, welcome back. Today on The Untidy Artist, we're making bath tea. Taking a bath is a beautiful way to relax, and this gorgeous bath tea that's filled with flowers and all sorts of lovely things for your skin is the perfect way to relax, especially during the holidays. So let's grab some supplies and get started. The first thing you'll need is some sea salt. And I have some coarse sea salt and some fine sea salt. This will help to exfoliate the skin and feels very lovely in the bath. I have some dried peppermint leaves from my favorite spice store, Penzies, and some dried spearmint leaves. You could also cut open a tea bag of any kind of mint and use that. And then I have some rosebuds and rose petals. And I find all of my dried flowers, uh, most of them anyway, at my local health food store. But there are a lot of great places online I can post below. I've also got some calendula petals, and these are just a really gorgeous yellow color. Some jasmine flowers, just a bunch of different really pretty flowers to give it um, just a a lot of color and texture. I've got some chamomile flowers. Chamomile is very soothing and calming for the skin. I also have some dried lavender buds. These are very balancing for the skin. And then I also have some cornflower petals. I absolutely love this color of purpley blue. It's probably one of my favorite colors. And these petals just add so much to our bath tea. And then I have some essential oils. I'll be using peppermint, geranium, and lavender, but you can use your favorites. I have some measuring tools, a 1 4th cup measuring cup, a tablespoon, and then just a little spoon to stir. And I have a couple of mixing bowls. And these are just going to help us put everything together. And then I also have a container to put my bath tea in. You can use any type of container. I would suggest something that has a nice lid to keep everything fresh. I found this cute little glass container at Michael's. I believe it was only a couple dollars and it was fun for a single use bath tea. So the first step is to grab your coarse sea salt and we're going to measure out one fourth cup of our coarse sea salt. And then we're going to measure out one fourth cup of our fine sea salt. And then I'm going to mix my oils into that. So I'm going to put about five drops of my lavender oil. I'm going to use about five drops of my peppermint oil and five drops of my geranium oil. And then I'm going to mix that all together with the back of my spoon. I really want to mix those essential oils into the salt. This is going to help evenly distribute all of those gorgeous essential oils into our bath tea. Now we're going to start measuring out our dried flowers. So I'm putting in 1 4th cup of the jasmine flowers. We'll do 1 4th cup of the calendula petals. And it's okay if there's a certain flower that you like more of, you can obviously add more of that. I just kind of wanted even amounts of the different flowers. Then I have 1 4th cup of my chamomile flowers, 1 4th cup of my cornflower petals, I'm going to take 1 4th cup of my lavender buds. Super soothing and calming for the skin. Very balancing. And then 1 4th cup of my beautiful rose petals. And rose is also very calming for the skin. And then I've already measured out 1 tablespoon of my spearmint and 1 tablespoon of my peppermint. So we have all of our beautiful dried ingredients in our container here. And after I have them all measured in, I'm going to give it a nice stir. I and mean, you can see all of the really pretty colors here. It just makes a very beautiful, beautiful bath tea, even fun to just set on the side of your bathtub. Then I'm going to grab my salt that already has my essential oils mixed into it. I'm going to sprinkle it over my flowers. And then I'm gently going to stir everything together. We just want to mix all of the salt and all of the flowers and get all of those essential oils just all mixed in together. And be careful when you're stirring it, you don't want to crush anything. You can see all of these gorgeous different colors. This is such a beautiful thing to set by the side of your bathtub. And then I'm just going to carefully scoop it into my container. Now to use your bath tea, you are going to take a big scoop of it and put it in either a cotton reusable tea bag, which I'm just going to put in the top of my container here, or you can also use a cheesecloth and you would just Take a couple scoops of your bath tea, put it in the cheesecloth with a tie around it, and fill up your bathtub with hot water. All of those flower petals are going to start to release their 
essential oils. It smells so beautiful. You've got all of the gorgeous essential oils that you've already added and the salt that's soothing. And you can see here's my little single bath tea that just makes an, a gorgeous gift and if you need a good way to relax after the busy holiday season this is it if you're looking for a quick last minute gift this is a really fun and very pretty luxurious gift for anyone that you know that needs to relax or that really likes to have baths and that's it guys you are all set if you have comments or questions please post those below I will put some awesome links below to where I get my different ingredients please check out some of my other tutorials I have a lot of fun skincare tutorials uh, you can find those on my youtube channel or on my website untidyartist.com and if you haven't already subscribed please do that would be amazing and thank you guys so much for your support we'll see you next time